Uh, by now, you have probably heard of the term quiet quitting. I think we've all heard it by now, right? Yes. Some of us have seen people quietly quit. I have you know? too. We're not going to name names, but mm -mm. there's a lot of different thoughts on this term and what it means, if it's a good thing, if it's a bad thing, is it here to stay, is it just from the pandemic? So here to explain it all, motivational speaker and great friend of the show, Rich Bracken. All right, Rich. So start us off. What's, uh, for people who don't know, what's quiet quitting? So quiet quitting is, is a recent phenomenon, but it's an old practice. It's something that people have been doing for years and years and years. But recently, social media people and TikTokers have, got, have taken to social media to talk about quiet quitting. And, and it ranges in impact. It really is either it, people are doing exactly what their job description entails. So they're doing their job. They're just not going over and above. Or it ranges all the way down to people that are just showing up and trying to fake work just to stay on the payroll. So it really, there's a really a big range of what quiet quitting truly mm -hmm. is. But in essence, I mean, it's been going on. Research shows that it's been going on at least since 1999 when Peter Gibbons in Office Space that said, I literally do 15 minutes of work a week. <laughs> so, Rich, where, what causes this to happen? What, why would somebody go through this exercise? So a lot of it stems around motivation and leadership, frankly. So think about when you take on a new job, you're excited, you go in, you're, you're really looking forward to joining this organization or doing this new job that you're doing. And somewhere along the line, the motivation gets broken. And it, it's either realistic expectations have been disrupted or that you're being asked to go over and above when that wasn't communicated on the front end or that your employer anticipates that you're going to do it just because you're a really good person but they're not incentivizing you to do so at the same time you may be you know in a process of bad hiring right now it is definitely an employee employees market so there are you know a lot of different jobs to go find so it's really important to match the motivation, the communication, the transparency on what's expected. And if you expect your teammates to go over and above, say that. If you're just showing them a job description and saying, this is what I'm paying you for, then stick to that. But you really need to be honest as a leader and a business leader to make sure that you're engaging your employees correctly. Yeah, so um, Rich, I want to come at this from the, uh, within the workplace, but also as consumers, you know, how it affects mm -hmm. us. So within the workplace, let's say I, I sense somebody's quietly quitting. Um, shouldn't I secretly think, well, great, I must look like a go-getter if this guy's mailing it in. Wouldn't that be a good thing or, or is that a wrong way to look at it? Well, I mean, it's, it's not a bad way to look at it because if you're an overachiever, which Pat, we know you are an yes, overachiever, so that's you. very true to form. <laughs> but it really is all about understanding what you're doing your work for. Like if you want to be elevated, if you want to be promoted, if you want to get a raise, then you're going to go over and above and or do your job to an exceptional level. Now, there are those people that are just going to slack off. We've all worked with them. We all know them. If you, if you don't know one, you probably are that person. <laughs> so it's important to understand that those people are going to be weeded out and they're going to be let go at some point. But it is disruptive to the team chemistry as well. So yeah. if you are an overachiever, if you're a leader within your employee force, engage that individual that you think is quiet quitting. Find out what's going on and ask them what would motivate them to work harder. There's an answer there somewhere. So it, we just, we forget to ask those questions and they're so basic and they save the company so much time and money that they don't have to let somebody go and then go through the rehiring process, which is very expensive. Yeah, and you just touched on a little bit like managers eventually, you know, are gonna maybe catch on or suspect somebody's quiet quitting and you know, how, how are they gonna handle those quiet quitters? Sure. I think there's, you know, there's one of two ways, right? There's the school of thought of like, hey, look, you're not doing what we've asked you to do. If you're at that minimum level of quiet quitting, you're showing up, you're breathing onto your computer and then you're going home, like you're going to get <laughs> weeded out. That's just going to happen. Now, if you're somebody who is just doing the minimum until you're asked to do more, you know, you can have some communication around motivation. We're all motivated differently. Some people want praise. Some people want money. Some people want a really clear career path. So sit down with those individuals that you suspect are quiet quitting on the front end of your suspicion. Don't let it fester for a long time because it'll just get worse, but engage them on the front end, find out what motivates them, and then find some way to meet them there. Find some way, maybe it's just, they need a pat on the back every now and then. How much does that cost? Nothing. It's a couple seconds of time. Wow. Yeah, uh, nice. yeah uh, words of wisdom from yes. our friend uh, Rich Brackett. Hey Rich, uh, let us know if somebody wants to reach out and uh, contact you. How can they get a hold of you? Sure, you can find me at richbracken.com, all my social media handles, my blog, my podcast, everything is on richbracken.com. And now I have a great Spotify channel with some of the best music to motivate you to keep from quiet quitting. So there's some <laughs> inspirational tunes on there as well. So everything's on richbracken.com. All right. Uh, we'll hear about Half Moon Bay in another episode yeah, when you join yeah. us again. All right. So yes, I'll... I will hit him straight and long for you, Nick, today. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rock this golf course and have a great time in your honor, sir. All right. Can't <laughs> All wait right. to hear about it. Rich Brackenforce. Right. Thank you, Rich. Good, Good to see you. Rich.
Good to see you guys. Oh.